Hello, I'm Laurier Tevis, RPA expert at SAP. Welcome back to the Intelligent RPA for Dummies videos, season two. And this is the second episode. I hope you have now a deeper insight of SAP Intelligent RPA after watching the first video. I know many of you want to learn more about SAP Intelligent RPA 2.0. Today, I will answer some questions from another RPA enthusiast, Mayara. Let's get started. Hi, Laura. I just finished watching the first module of RPA for Dummies. And if I understood it right, I'm also going to be able to create my own bots, even if I'm not an experienced developer, right? Thanks, Mayara. This is an important question. Actually, I've got good news. Yes, you'll be able to develop your own bots. I assume that as an RPA enthusiast, you have great functional skills and you like to be guided to create something. So, Mayara, and all of you behind the screen, let me tell you a story. Perhaps you love music and you've always dreamed about composing your own song. So do I. In the same time, I don't know how to play a lot of instruments. Too bad? Mm, surely not. Because with that tool, a launch pad, you are able to compose. Just load ready to use elements such as guitar chords, rhythmic figures, drum beats, like that, or any existing sound. That pad allows you to compose and play by clicking on the different buttons and filters, effects, and you don't have to reinvent the wheel each time. You can record samples and then reuse them. And you can connect to external sources, real instrument, big ones, and break your masterpiece in the whole system. Actually, it's the same with Intelligent RPA 2.0. That's the way you can create your own bots by yourself. Thanks for the explanation. And you're right, working together is much more fun. Uh, I love the image with the music, by the way. I love music. And even if I never learn how to play an instrument, I do get the analogy. What I'm not sure if I get is the low code, no code you talked about. Could you maybe dig a little deeper into that topic? It simply means that, as I said before, to build a bot, you don't need any language skill. Like with the launchpad, you can create music without learning solfege. If on the launch pad we put samples, with the studio we drag and drop action, events, clicks, and we call them activities. It's so easy. You want to copy and paste? Just find a copy activity, drag and drop it in the source item. Then drag and drop the paste activity on the targeted item. Couldn't be simpler. Once again, as in music, you can play with friends, then you can build with colleagues. You can show and share your bots. Now you can automate a set of tasks because you know the best way to perform it. Then today, tomorrow, later, your automation will be really part of the whole system. Cherry on the top of the cake, your IT department can enhance your work, adding more complex features, including connections, API calls, involving se several tricky applications. For those who are fond of coding, custom activities let you put some JavaScript, go deeper on the application behaviors to create amazing automation. You know, the goal is to gather all the energies like a kind of symphonic orchestra. Functional, technical resources and organize, prioritize and play the best automation score. Okay, again, stay tuned. In the next video, we'll talk about Legos. Remember, when you are a kid, small pieces, but amazing to create masterpieces. Thanks, Mayara, for your question, and see you guys in the next module. Hey, Ricky. So, hey, it's great. I love music, and I love SAP Intelligent RPA 2.0.